leave until say 10 o'clock tonight, and I guarantee you'll have come up with our eight to the second year. And if you haven't said any of those phrases, then I'll give you each a 10. <laughs> Chris also has the rare and unique gift of being able to hassle any DJ at any club anywhere in the world. Usually with his favourite opening line of, easy do. <laughs> Got any star roses? <laughs> so I'm hoping tonight's DJ is quite well prepared, otherwise he's in for a long night. <laughs> now I'm also guessing a lot of you remember the groom's now infamous appearance on now. Uh, Fine time team. <laughs> On the Lost Week Jet Set Quiz Show. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't, then I'm assuming you were out of the country because for four weeks leading up to the time, he was going around telling absolutely everyone <laughs> when he was going to be on. <laughs> so it would have been on to mention a little bit more of such a momentous occasion in Chris's recent history. So, he was also feeling confident, and why not? Both Chris and Andrew, as it happened, had gone through loads of auditions. And um, they got through to the final uh, audition, but in the end they decided to come for Chris instead of Andrew. I've no idea why. <laughs> Till this day, I still can't believe why they did that. But anyway, they did. So up comes a big day, and he's looking good. He's wearing a fancy suit. His hair looks good. He's even sported a massive pair of sideburns for the ladies at home. <laughs> As well as a fixed squid like this. <laughs> so the show starts and we're into the first round. Chris is looking nervous. The, the confidence looks have drained into his feet, but he does go up and get the first question right. Um, the second question soon comes his way though, and it's at this point the thing starts to go wrong. <laughs> now, Chris, I'm sure you remember this clearly, but for everyone else, the question was. What colour do you get if you mix red and blue? <laughs> now, with an A-level certificate in art, you would think this would be a walk in the park. <laughs> Not for Chris. <laughs> he decides to pass it to someone else. So he's now starting to sweat. A bit like me. When he gets his third question, which continent are the Himalayas on? <laughs> Again, it's not exactly a universal challenge, is it? <laughs> well, after a split second, when it looks like Chris's brain has entered meltdown, he's always briefly flicker, and he says, Africa? Africa? <laughs> no, Chris, it's Asia says Amy Holmes, and about 5 million viewers at home as well. And that, unfortunately, was that. <laughs> he was bullied off the show, failing to get past round one. Andrew looks close to tears. And it's at this point that Chris utters his final words of prime time to <laughs> Can we go boys? Then my name, at least I'm still there to see the Chemical Brothers and Brixton and Curry next week. <laughs> 